Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a holiday card showcasing products from the latest release by Simon's Stamp, which is called December. So this is packed with dyes and I will create a background first for my card using this beautiful border die that is called Holiday Knit Border. So all I'm doing here is to create my background using my Distress Oxide inks. I'm working on uh, mixed media paper that takes uh, Distress Oxide inks beautifully and it is really a dream to blend uh, oxides on top of that. I am using uh, festive berries and uh, fired brick. I will add the fired brick only at the outside of the card so that I have a lighter area at the center. If you are watching on YouTube, then make sure to visit my blog. This is actually part of a blog hub as we celebrate the December release by Simon Says Thumb. There are lots of giveaways, lots of inspiration along the way, and there is also a coupon code for a free gift if you shop at Simon. Now I'm using a brush and I'm adding some uh, water on top of my panel and I will leave for a few seconds the water to react with Distress Oxide ink. And now I can use my towel to blot the water so you can see how the lifting is happening. I'm also going to use a brush and add some uh, gesso splatters. These are going to look like um, snow at the background but uh, they are not going to be as vibrant as they look now since they are actually going to react with Distress Oxide inks underneath and they are going to be more subtle. Now I'm going to place my border die on top and again this is the holiday knit border. It's a gorgeous design and you can see here how it looks. You can create shaker cards with that. You can add um, many times this die along uh, your panel to create a beautiful pattern. I decided to use it only once on the side. And since I'm going for a vintage look and feel for this card, I'm going to ink up the edges with vintage photo. I'm just touching very lightly the edge of uh, the card by using my blending tool. I don't want to overdo it with brown, I just want a touch of brown only at the far edge. Now I have a piece of 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half craft panel and this is uh, Nina Desert Storm. I am uh, going to ink up the edges again with vintage photo. And you can see here how it looks when I place one panel on top of the other. Now at the back you can add a white piece of paper, you can add glitter paper like I will do later on. You can also go with gold, lots of options here. I decided to create my own glitter paper, you can always use glitter cardstock. I am just uh, adding a piece of white double sided tape over this uh, cardstock. I'm just going to add on top my white glitter and this is uh, nice and chunky so it's going to look uh, very fluffy. I'm going to press with my finger the glitter to make sure that it's nicely stuck there and during the holiday season I think that I'm not afraid of touching glitter. Pretty much everyone is walking around with uh, some glitter on top of them so I don't really mind. I added foam tape at the back of my panel and I'm going to stick uh, these papers together making sure that through that beautiful design you will be able to see the glitter coming through. Finally I'm going to use my long scissors to make sure that everything is nice and neat, just cutting whatever sticks out. And finally I'm going to stick this panel with foam tape at the back on top of the craft panel that I have already prepared. So I have a lovely background, you can add just a sentiment on top and you are ready to go. I decided to use another die cut from the latest release which again I'm going to cover up completely with glitter. So I'm doing again the same technique using double sided tape on top of a scrap paper. And this is the die I will be using. It's the Ice Skating Girl. It's a lovely die. I'm going to run it through my Big Shot, peel off the backing and then I'm going to apply again the same chunky glitter that I used previously. So the background really matches with my focal point. I used foam tape at the back of uh, my girl and I'm going to stick her on top of my background. I absolutely love this design and although I'm using it for a Christmas card, it doesn't scream Christmas, so you can easily use it for any winter card. For my sentiment I'm going to use the nested banners along with a sentiment from the Tiny Words Christmas stamp set and these tiny banners is packed with ties as you can see. I'm going to use the tiniest of uh, the ones with the fish tail. 
I am going to cut it out from craft cardstock and stamp on top with Versamark ink and white emboss my sentiment. I actually went with a sentiment that says joy to the world. To match everything together, I'm using my vintage photo to go around the edges. I'm going to add the foam tape at the back and just stick it down there. To finish off my card, I'm going to add a little bit more sparkle. So I'm using here my Nouveau Deluxe to add dots of glue at the center of the snowflakes on my die cut design. And then I'm going to stick there my July Crystals by Studio Katia. And that finishes the card for today. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. You will find the full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area. And don't forget that this is part of a blog hub, so make sure to visit my blog to enter the giveaways. Thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely weekend.